Before we begin, go down to your status bar and check these highlighted icons to make sure that your setting matches with mine. And click this uh, drop down arrow, click tracking setting, and um, click this one, click that one, and check these boxes, maybe this one too and this one, and click OK. I'm gonna start off this drawing from top view, which is the bird's eye view of this object. So let's bring this drawing to top view. So type L for line command and start from zero comma zero point. And move your cursor to the right for 96 units, which is this one here, from this point to this point. Right click to repeat line and bring your cursor upward for 64 units, which is from this point to this point. I'm just going to complete this rectangle I'm going to join the segments type L for line command and draw a line from this point to this point for 16 units so just hover over and from the endpoint, bring your cursor to the right and enter 16 units. Bring it down to a perpendicular point. Another line from this point, just hover over and enter 8 units. And bring it down for 43 units which is from here to here and this is the dimension 43 units and the distance from this point to this point is 24 so what I'm gonna do is just offset so type O for offset command enter and enter 24 and the distance from here to here is 8 so I'm gonna offset again I enter 8 and offset this uh, line. Draw another line from this point up to that uh, perpendicular point. Now we're going to draw a line from this point to this point. So L again for line and just hover over from the end point. Bring your cursor down for 12 units and click that perpendicular point and from here up to here the distance is 16 so right click to repeat line just hover over don't click move your cursor upward for 16 units and move to your left for 20 units which is this one here and then offset this one for 16 units so O again and enter 16 click this line and click that side draw a circle so type C for circle command enter and from the midpoint shift right click select mid between two points so we can start from the midpoint of these two points and just click that end point Type TR for trim command, enter twice and remove that object and remove this one. Now what else? So bring this drawing to southeast isometric. I'm just going to turn off the grid. 
and the thickness for this rectangle is um, which is from here to this corner is 16 which is also this one which is also this one here from this point to this point extrude bring it downward for 16 units I'm going to change this to 2D wireframe and the distance or the extrusion of this portion here is from this point up to this point is 48 so which is from this point up to this point without the fillet so what I'm gonna do is use press pull command from the ribbon just hover over the object and and then once it turns blue left click let go of your finger move your cursor upward for what was that again 48 I think 48 units enter yeah it's 48 and again this um, object here this one here this portion is this one so what I'm gonna do extrude that too for the extrusion height for that is 28 which is from this point up to this point I'm just gonna make this bigger there you go so extrude this uh, portion for 28 units so what I'm gonna do is uh, use press pull command again and hover over this portion once it turns blue let go of your finger and enter 28 units same here enter 28 units just gonna change this to shaded with edges so go to coordinates panel click this Z axis vector or Z axis vector click anywhere on the screen and move your Z towards that direction which is parallel see this one going that that way and our circle is gonna go from this point going that way the next step is draw a circle between these two points I'm going to extrude it later to create a cylinder that I'm going to use to subtract from this object. So the cylinder will be coming from this point up to that point. So C for circle command. Press shift, right click, and select mid between two points. So click this uh, end point here and this end point and click that endpoint again to fit the circle and the next one or the next step to do is press pull this um, middle portion here or the inside between these two blocks left click extrude it upward up to this point and extrude this circle up to that point you subtract command from the ribbon click this object that you want to keep right click and select this cylinder and the next thing to do is um, create this one here this hollow portion so uh, select press pull command again and just hover over the object left click let go of your finger bring down your cursor downward left click again and enter now we're gonna create this triangular portion so type l for line command in point to in point and to that in point and close 
I'm gonna change this to to the wireframe. It's easier to grab the lines. So type J for join command and join these lines. Now it's one object. I'm gonna bring this back to shaded with edges. Click this one and extrude this one up to this point, which is this point here. So extrude command and extrude it up to this point. Now I'm gonna create fillet or apply fillet on this corner. And the radius for that is 32, which is this one here. So go to solid, fillet edge, go down to the command prompt, click radius option and enter 32 units. Click this edge, enter twice. And what I'm gonna do now is just union the objects. So click this one and click this one. Now it's one object. I'm just gonna move this one and remove these unwanted segments. Let me check here. And we're done with the drawing. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something today. Uh, please comment below and subscribe if you like what I did. And hit the bell icon for notifications. See you again. Bye.